I think there's something so iconically Broadway, old school Broadway about Jerry Herman's music. In this show alone, we really sort of run the gamut from beautiful ballads to these big Broadway 11 o'clock tap numbers. So it's great to experience the whole spectrum of Broadway and the theater. I think what does make his music special is these tunes that just get under our skin and just warm your heart. Especially in this show, so many of the songs are catchy. I think people argue that this is their favorite score of his, and um, I, it's hard to argue that that it might be the same for me. Yeah. I don't think I have anything brilliant to add to what everybody knows about Jerry Herman, which is that it's in some ways quintessential Broadway, and what everybody thinks is the meat of Broadway. It has pizzazz, it has rhythm, and there's always a hook. It's just, in some ways, the best of everything in the juicy center of what everyone thinks of as Broadway. Maybe he doesn't get enough credit for the ballads, which are gorgeous. Jerry Herman's music is incredible, as everybody knows, but here's the thing about getting in rehearsal, and I don't feel like we talk about this enough. The lyrics are so great. The melodies feel like, I feel like the melody, I love the melody so much that I sort of always think Jerry Herman melody, Jerry Herman hook in my ear. But Jerry Herman in the lyrics, uh, I won't send roses wherever he ain't. They're, when you really read them day to day on a script and you work with them like they're monologues, they're magnificent. The Encores Orchestra is the, it's my favorite experience to have as an actor working in musical theater. There's nothing like it. It's really inspiring. It fills you up. You get that tickle on the back of your neck when you hear certain chords and certain accompaniments because it's that thing you fell in love with when you listened to original Broadway cast recordings. It's a remarkable, it's a remarkable thing. It's only available in New York City.